and then it even got the option to make a review about the Super Console X Pro and the Super Console X Stick. And there was already a new version out. Yep, already. It's time for a message from the future. Hey guys, welcome back to a new message from the future. Because we are going to take a close look at the new product from our friends from China. Yeah, they have released already a new Super Console X product. I didn't even review the Stick and the X Pro, but they're already coming with a new model. And this thing called the Super Console PC Box Retro Game Console. And they're already saying here, Power Mini PC. And it comes even with 80 plus emulators. And that's a lot. Thinking that the Super Console X comes with around, let's say, 50 of them. But okay, so what we're going to get is just a mini PC that they preset with software. What kind of software? That is something we need to find out in this video. Also, it comes with a pretty decent controller, or it looks not like the shitty PlayStation 2 controllers are always going to get with these Chinese products. But it's just a mini PC. In total, we're going to get DDR4 memory slots. Maybe later on in this page, we're going to find which product we're going to get. Here we can already see that the support of games is way bigger than the previous model. Take consideration that the Super Console X runs up to PlayStation 1 pretty good. And I think the new additions are more like PlayStation 2, Sega Saturn, Wii, Wii U and the GameCube. N64 can run a little bit better because we're having some more power or I'm hoping for it. So it has, let's say, more possibilities. But compared with the Super Console X, it's not, let's say, a big step up. But don't get me wrong, the Super Console X is just something completely different. This is just an Android box in a new shell and they added some yeah, MLA like and some games to it. This is the S905M, so this is not really comparable with the new version they've released. This is not like a minor upgrade like the X and the Pro. So I am familiar with the Kin Hank store. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. So the Raspberry Pi 3B handheld game console did a review about this product. I was not the biggest fan of it simply because of the horrible D-pad. Nevertheless, check out this full review if you want to see more information. It was basically a Raspberry Pi slapped into a casing with some buttons. It was super not super bad, but was not one of my favorites because nowadays we're having so many options. The multi-emulator Super Console X, of course. This is, by the way, another version. This is the normal version. We also mentioned the Pro in the previous video. And this thing comes with 50 plus emulators, or that's what they're saying. They also sell, let's say, the open source Linux systems like the Embernic models that we have seen before in other stores, of course. So they have the unique set of products, but also they have more like the products from other stores. I briefly already mentioned to you guys that the, this new version, this, let's say, very expensive version is coming with some extra systems because we're having some more juice maybe n64 will run better we're having sega saturn gamecube wii wii u and playstation 2 the systems that we can run on a super console x take consideration playstation 3 will not run at all you need to quite a beefcake on pc for that but in the end it's a quite expensive product and that's more like the question what are we going to get in the inside but because it's a little bit shady when it comes to the information in my opinion Okay, so it's equipped with an internal storage of 2 terabytes. So 2 terabytes, for the people who don't know, it's not super expensive nowadays, but still 2 terabytes a lot. So the Retro Super Console PC box work with software already installed. So it seems to be that way doing the same thing like emulating with the Super Console X. The console, the see discrete, equipped with, with 8 gigabytes. So this is the amount of memory that we're going to get. Dual channel DDR4. So indeed, it's not bad at all when we're looking at specifications. They're already jumping into the support for four players. Yeah, that is quite obvious. Uh, they only showed one controller, so I'm guessing you need to buy or hook up three other controls they have laying around. <laughs> and the most epic thing that is saying, relief, the magical evening. And enjoy some games for up to four players local. By the way, four players is freaking awesome, but magical, that's something else. So this machine is basically, an, I'm guessing, a Windows machine. And in the end, it's just a gaming, tiny gaming PC. What is very convenient about this is that we can play some old school retro games or better said, modern games. Of course, the question remains what kind of chipset are we going to get? I'm guessing this will not be a new AMD Ryzen. They are giving you an overview of some games, but I'm guessing it will never run on the higher settings. Okay, so let's take a close look at the specifications and what are we going to get. 
Okay, to begin with, we're having here two times, or it is just two hard disks that we're going to get an NVMe SSD in combination with a 2.5 inch 2 terabyte hard disk. So it's kind of confusing in my opinion. Then we're going to get the Intel Xeon A3 5905M version 5. But if you take a close look at the specifications, when did they release this chip itself? So the chip itself has been released and introduced in late 2015. So this is already six year on the market when I'm making this video based on the Skylake micro architecture. Okay, so let's take a close look at the GPU information, what we can find. So basically this chipset has an AG graphics P530 inside, but it keeps me wondering. So a max memory, all those fancy information, but how powerful is it compared with the normal graphics card? And is this powerful enough to run the emulators on full HD or even 4K? So when looking at the specifications list, <laughs> comparing it with a graphics card from NVIDIA or an AT in Radeon, you can see it is not super powerful. But this is more like comparison with the top 10 common video cards. So when we're going to do a deep dive into specifications over here, we can find our Intel HD 530 over here. And it's between the GeForce GT 750M. So you can say that the onboard GPU is not super powerful and the question remains more like how good is it it is even almost comparable with the gtx 660m so when you're scrolling a little bit up you can see we're going to get with the gtx 275 so i want to say that it is not super powerful i did a touch bench with an old pc that's got quite some good performance but i'm wondering will they give you an extra gpu or is this the stuff that we're going to get but coming back to the other information, I already know that we're going to get some dual channel memory. It has built-in RG45 gigabyte LAN and also dual band Wi-Fi capabilities. They say we're having an option for 4K output signal and we're having a support with Windows 10 Pro or it is, I'm guessing, pre-installed and in support for Linux, of course, but because it can be used in Linux if you want to be doing a completely different build. As you can see over here, we're having not a very big case. It is a very tiny box. So nowadays you can see they are just basically selling mini PCs like complete game systems that still keep me wondering what kind of software or front end are they going to use on this system. Will this be the famous one that we have seen before in other videos or is this something that we have never seen before or they are just so lousy that they are not even putting the effort for a front end. But I think they will do so. Nevertheless, they also advertise it here like a dual monitor. So if you want to build this thing in your virtual pinball machine, this can be a very interesting product too. <sighs> Problem is, of course, we don't have a lot of juice, so it will be no VPX tin. Yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this. What do you think of a mini box that they are selling like so, like a Super Console X Deluxe model, PC model. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.